Why do you, Dawson? Why do you? You'd like to interview in English or in Lao? I'd like to interview in English just because my Lao is okay. generally a little rusty. Okay, but you can speak Lao though. Maybe a little bit. Certain phrases. Yeah, okay. No problem. สวัสดีท่านผู้ชมที่อัดเพลงขณะนี้รายการสังคมเราในต่างแดนของบริษัทเราทีวีแคนาดาได้นําพาท่านมาพบกับภาพพิเศษเราเป็นการสัมภาษณ์คันที่ว่ากัมเมนตะกีลาวมวยปั้มกันนะซึ่งเพื่อนเป็นคนสันสัตอเมริกาแต่ว่าเสื้อสายลาวเนาะพ่อแม่พ่อเพื่อนเป็นลาวดังนั้นสื่อเพื่อนจังเขาจังค่อยสีได้ยินคําว่าดอสเซนเนาะสีหาวงเนาะนามสกุลของเพื่อนก่อนเดือนมันก็ต้องขอขอบใจดอสเซนที่ว่าได้ให้โอกาสเราชีวิตกันได้รับมาสัมภาษณ์เนาะเพราะจริงแล้วพวกเขาก็สัมภาษณ์มาหลายคนแล้วคือตัวอย่างว่าแอสตรีดเนาะแองเจลีนาหรือว่าแอลิอนาเนาะพวกเขาก็ได้สัมภาษณ์มาหลายคนแล้วกับดอสันก็เป็นคนที่สี่ที่พวกเขาสัมผัสโดยเฉพาะเพื่อนมีความสําคัญอยู่ที่ว่าเพื่อนเป็นนักกีฬาเมวยปั้มที่จะไปแข่งขันอยู่ที่ประเทศกัมพูชาเนาะไปในซีเกมซึ่งอยู่ภายในสองสามทิศนี่ท่านผู้ชมก็จะได้เห็นเนาะดังนั้นครับเจ้าจะนําพาทานไปพบกับดอสันได้เลยไฮดอสันอ่ thank you for for you letting Lao TV Canada to interview you. Uh, like I said, like I said a few minutes ago, we have interviewed a few uh, athletes, especially the uh, swimmer. Today it's special that we I have you on uh, Lao TV Canada, what we call it's uh, Lao Society in the foreign land. So I gonna I gonna start with uh, let you introduce yourself first. Hi everyone. My name is Dawson Sivan. I'm currently a senior at Stanford University, and I'm a part of their Stanford wrestling team. And for my major, I'm currently studying science, technology, and society, with future prospects of working in high-level fields, anything that has to do with data analytics. Okay. How? How? Uh, what made you to to become a wrestler? What What so, motivated you? <laughs> Wrestling is sort of like a foundational element that goes back to my father's generation. So he and his brothers grew up, and when they went into high school, they started getting into wrestling, and that eventually led them to wrestling in college and getting supported through the sport. And generally, I mean, the lessons that you learn and the people you meet—I mean, wrestling for me is just a transformational sport. And to say what motivates me, I believe it would just be pushing my limits. Wrestling is full of challenges, so I really never run out of fun things to do. So I've heard that uh, you have been chosen to representing Laos uh, for international competition, uh, and uh, uh, not too long you're gonna go to Cambodia for the Sea Game. That's what I heard. How this came about? Like when? It has begun. So, I'd say it was about six months ago, and during Thanksgiving, <laughs> my dad gave me a call. I was uh, with family at the time, but he was with his brothers and sisters to uh, visit his mom, or my grandma. And what he told me was that he ended up getting in touch with the Messina family, so all of the swimmers that are going to be competing as well, and. Extended me the opportunity of competing in the Sea Games, and to me, it's like when I was presented the option, I was I didn't hesitate. How 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 did you know about Laos so far, Laos? Well, coming from my dad's side, he gave me a um, uh, extensive history, sort of of our family as well as our people. But I'd say for me, the Pieces that stuck out the most were just the Lao community. It's always been a very kind and strong presence in my life, especially the kinds of people that you meet uh, at the festivals or at the charity events. They they're all very sweet, and very humble, and if anything, I'm just eager to show that their efforts are going towards bigger things. 
Uh, now, what I hear is you are officially, I uh, will be representing Laos in the SEA game. How do you feel representing Laos? Uh, <laughs> I'm very excited because, uh, yeah. I mean, new places and sites, you know, they're always something to be excited about. But this chick in particular, I'm really excited because I get to explore my heritage in a way that I have yet to experience. I went to Thailand when I was very little, but it's not exactly the same as going to the homeland. I'd say I'm also very thankful because for me, competing for Laos feels like my way of getting back to the Lao community in a way only I could do. And for that, I really couldn't say enough. Perfect, perfect. What what would you give the advice to the to the young generation or whoever that want to start the, the this type of uh, sport? I would say, well, I'd start with something that we say here in America is that wrestling tends to be a blue collar sport, but what that means to me is that anyone can get into it. So don't feel discouraged if you're not at the level currently. And wrestling in itself will give you plenty of challenge, so I wouldn't be intimidated by things that you may have to do. Overall, stay committed, have grit, you know, embrace the challenge, and you'll grow. You'll grow as a person. Excellent. Uh, now, uh, going to to uh, representing Lao in Sikkim, uh, what is the process? Right now, You, I, I don't know if you have to go to Laos first or you're going to go directly to Cambodia, you know? Currently, for my situation regarding school, I can't spend too much time outside. So I'll immediately be heading to Cambodia so I can get acclimated as well as start getting a feel for what kinds of competition I'm going to be having. I will say, though, hopefully I'll be able to get some time in Laos before I head out. How confident do uh, you have? I'm feeling very confident. I mean, I have a strong family behind me, a good foundation with me, and a challenging goal in front of me. And usually that path has led me to victory before, and I'm confident that it'll come up when I need it. How, how was the highlight uh, carrier? Oh, carrier? man. I mean, I've had a lot of experiences. I won Folk Style Nationals when I was a sophomore in high school and I've had plenty of um, uh, experience with like the international styles, which is freestyle and Greco going into uh, my s junior and senior year. I even ended up taking second place at Fargo, which is one of the hardest national tournaments for the international styles. But if I were to say what my highlight has been, it's probably been saving um, uh, the Stanford wrestling team in, 2021 and just being a part of the culture in general it was uh, during covid year that the athletic department made the decision to cut 11 sports including wrestling so we were we kind of had our backs against the wall and we only had one year to kind of show them that we deserved to stay it was a collective effort by everyone including the parents the alumni and other athletes and the wrestling community in general and it really pushed me to become a leader on days when teams need a boost and make me grow far more than I could individually. Because at the end of the day, it's like wrestling is an individual sport, but this challenge has given me a purpose beyond myself. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, last. You want to say a few words in Laos? I'd just say... <laughs> go chai. Uh, okay. Go chai to everyone that has supported me so far, and I hope to do well. <laughs> Good. Okay, thank you so much for your time and uh, letting Lao TV Canada to, to interview you. อ่าท่านผู้ชมนะครับเป็นการสัมภาษณ์อาดอร์เซนเนาะสีหาวงซึ่งเป็นนักกีฬามวยปั้มที่จะไปแข่งขันในนามประเทศลาวอยู่ที
I'll see you on TV. Thank you. Yeah, I thank appreciate you. Bye -bye. it. Bye bye. Thanks. Good one. ลองไปกลางสาอีคาลาลาวทีวีแคนาดากำเนิดเกิดมาด้วยศรัทธาใจด้วยความมุ่งมั่นบากบั่นให้ถึงจุดมาทิดงานกลุ่มลุมสุงใสใครใครหักใส่สังคม